Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. This is the first example of a phase plane. It's a differential equations question. So we have a two-dimensional differential equation given by uh, dx dt equals 3 negative 2, 2 negative 2 times x. And we're asked to draw a phase plane diagram of the, the solutions. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the eigenvalues and then the eigenvectors for the matrix A. So A here is 3, negative 2, 2, negative 2. And so A minus lambda I is 3 minus lambda, negative 2, 2, negative 2, minus lambda. Okay, and then we want to get the characteristic equation for this. So this is the determinant of a minus lambda i, which is 3 minus lambda times negative 2 minus lambda. And then it's minus negative 2 times 2, like that. And this ends up being negative 6 minus lambda plus lambda squared plus 4 which equals lambda squared minus lambda minus 2, which is lambda minus 2 times lambda plus 1 when you factor it. Okay, so we're going to set this equal to 0, and then the roots are lambda equals 2 and lambda equals negative 1. Okay, so we have the eigenvalues. Let's find the eigenvectors. So this will amount to solving a system of equations given by, so let's see here, we have a, okay, so let's write down the eigenvectors first, eigenvalues rather. We have lambda 1 was 2, and lambda 2 is negative 1. And a minus 2i is 3, negative 2, 2, negative 2, minus twice the identity matrix, so that's 2, 0, 0, 2. We un end up with 1, negative 2, 2, negative 4. Then dividing the second row by 2, we get 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. And then taking the second row and subtracting the first row reduces to 1, negative 2, 0, 0. And then the solution is x1 minus 2x2 is 0, which is x1 is twice x2, okay, which is the first coordinate is twice the second. So the corresponding eigenvector is, so the first coordinate is twice the second, uh, 2, 1. Okay, so that's our first eigenvector corresponding to the first eigenvalue which is uh, lambda equals 2. Now let's check out the eigenvector for lambda equals negative 1. a minus i is 3, negative 2, 2, negative 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, which equals 2. Uh, so 3, sorry, so this is minus i, so it's negative 1, negative 1 on the diagonal. So it's 3 plus 1 is 4. Negative 2, 2, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Taking the first row and dividing by 2, we get 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. And then taking the second row and subtracting the first gives 2, negative 1, 0, 0. And so the solution is 2x1 minus x2 is 0, and so 2x1 is x2, which means the second coordinate is twice the first coordinate. Okay, x2 is 2x1, so the eigenvector is 1, 2. Okay, so we had 2, 1, uh, was the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1, and 1, 2 was the eigenvector corresponding to uh, lambda 2. So now for the phase plane diagram. 
Uh, well, let's let's give the solutions to this equation. So I'll, I'll write up the differential equation again. We get dx dt equals 3, negative 2, 2, negative 2 times x. Um, so let's just expand this a little bit to see what this means. So dx dt is 3, negative 2, 2, negative 2 times x1, x2, which is, so you do the matrix multiplication, and we get um, 3x1 minus 2x1, 2x1 minus 2x2. Okay, so dx dt is the derivative of x, so that's x1 prime, x2 prime equals 3x1 minus 2x1, and 2x1 minus 2x2, which gives us two differential equations. x1 prime of t is 3x1 minus 2x1, and x2 prime of t, t, is 2x1 minus 2x2. Okay, so that's just showing you what this equation here is representing. It's these two differential equations. So x1 is one function of t, x2 is another, and each of them satisfy these equations. Okay, so um, back to the eigenvectors. Um, we get the solutions x1, x2. So let me write down the eigenvectors. Um, they are 2, 1, and 1, 2, corresponding to lambda equals 2 and lambda equals negative 1. So the solution is c1 e to the 2t times 2, 1 plus c2 e to the negative t, 1, 2. Okay, so that's the solution to our, our differential equation. Um, so breaking that again into components, it means the solution to the first differential equation we just saw is um, so c1 e to the 2t times 2 plus c2 e to the negative t times 1 uh, which is 2 c1 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the negative t and then x2 is going to be c1 e to the 2t times 1 plus c2 e to the negative t times 2 which simplifies to be this okay so I'm just trying to show what these solutions actually mean so x1 has this form and x2 has this form right here okay so back again to our solution okay we have this here um, so uh, what this means, let me give myself some room here. Write up the solution again. x1, x2 equals c1 e to the 2t times 2, 1 plus c2 e to the negative t, 1, 2. Okay, so let's draw the phase plane diagram. Okay, so let's draw the vectors here. So we have 2, 1 here. So this is the x1 coordinate and x2. Okay, so this is 2, 1. Okay, and then 1, 2 would be something like this here. Okay, so draw this in here. Okay, so that coordinate would be 2, and this one would be 1. Okay, um, so um, we want to draw the, the solutions. Um, remember, the roots to our equation were lambda 1 is 2, and lambda 2. 2 is negative 1. Okay, so what we get here um, for the, let's focus on the vector 2, 1 first of all. So as you can see here, as t gets bigger, um, e to the negative t 
approaches zero, it's going to be bigger. E to the 2t is going to be big, and e to the negative t is going to be small. So that means as t approaches infinity, the solutions approach um, the, the, second, uh, the first eigenvector, rather, 2, 1, because okay? this term dominates. That also means as t approaches negative infinity, this term here approaches, well, t, negative t approaches positive infinity. So this term becomes big, and this term becomes small as t goes to negative infinity. Okay, so we start off with solutions tending towards um, this eigenvector when t is close to negative infinity, which is just 1, 2, and then we tend towards um, solutions uh, parallel to this I guess I get 2 to 1. Okay, okay. Um, and um, the I get I get vector selves. So, so the case the where, where say, along, say along the 2 or 2, 1, that would mean C2 is 0, because 1, 2 is not contributing anything. So there, again, as T goes to infinity, these solutions get bigger. And so what we have are solutions coming out this way. Okay? The opposite happens for 1, 2. So as t approaches infinity, e to the negative t gets small. So the solutions go in towards the origin. They approach 0. OK, so this is the case where c1 is 0. All right, and as we, we saw, um, we start off with solutions that are parallel to e, uh, sorry, 1, 2, because e to the negative t is large when t is a large negative number. And then as we come in, we get solutions that tend towards the first eigenvector. OK, so they generally go this way. So we go out like this. And these are our, um, this is our phase plane diagram. OK, so same in this direction here. We're coming out from the positive root, which is here. And then we're going in, so this is the negative of 1, 2, in towards the origin for the negative, along the negative direction um, of 1, 2. Okay, and again, we have the same phenomena. We start this way, and then we come out this way. Okay, so these are, these are our solutions. Okay, and that's the first video um, describing phase plane diagrams and solutions to uh, two-dimensional differential equations.